we are not obviously going to quit. We are dedicated and committed. After another officers do, they can continue to be brave and courageous, committed and dedicated in arresting violent offenders. My question to you is, ask what the courts can do different. Rather than release violent people back to these communities to create an environment of lawlessness, I believe that the plans and the deployments that they have in place um, have been effective, but the challenge is we're seeing an unprecedented level of violence here in our city that isn't abated since last year. I think people have given up to a, you know, to a very large degree on, on policing, and, and, and especially when it comes to um, uh, policing that's going to be beneficial to them. We can only arrest violent offenders, and we're doing it at the highest level historically in the Chicago Police Department's history. We've already had 89 people killed in the city of Chicago just this month. That's a breathtaking number. It cannot be on CPD alone. Won't be allowed there after 6 p.m. from Thursday through Sunday, unless they're with at least one responsible adult. Two people were arrested shortly after 16-year-old Seattle Holiday was shot dead while crowds gathered near the Bean, police said. Seattle was shot in his chest and pronounced dead at Lurie Children's Hospital. Later Saturday night, two more people were shot in the loop after police said two children opened fire on a group of people shortly before midnight in the 300 block of South State Street. A man was shot in the neck and chest, while another man. 18, was shot in the hand. Shootings in the downtown area have increased this year. So far this weekend, five of the 31 shootings victims were in the 1st Police District, which covers the Loop and near South Side areas. Shootings in the district are up 60% over last year through May 8th. According to police statistics, all other categories of major crime, including murder, robbery, theft and battery, are also up in the downtown police district. Nearly a third of shooting victims this weekend were in two police districts on the west side, the 10th and 11th districts. Other fatal shootings this weekend since 5 p.m. Friday. A 17-year-old boy was shot and killed in Englewood on the south side. He was standing near a sidewalk around 7.25 p.m. Friday when shots rang out in the 6,900 block of South Ada Street. Police said, he was shot in his chest and armpit area and pronounced dead at the University of Chicago Medical Center. A gunman shot two men, one of them fatally, after their vehicles collided Friday evening near Douglas Park in the Lawndale neighborhood. The shooting happened around 11.30 p.m. in 1200 block of South California Avenue. Police said, one of the men, 40, was shot in the chest and died Mount Sinai Hospital. The other man, also 40, was hospitalized in good condition. Saturday evening, a 19-year-old man was shot to death in a Washington Park home. He was inside the home in the 5700 block of South Indiana Avenue when someone fired shots around 5.30 p.m., police said. He was taken to the University of Chicago with a gunshot wound to the head and pronounced dead. Saturday afternoon, a man was fatally shot in West Englewood on the south side. He was near a sidewalk in the 6500 block of South Ashland Avenue when someone opened fire and struck the 34-year-old around 4.30 p.m., police said. He was hit several times and taken to the University of Chicago, where he was pronounced dead. The youngest person wounded this weekend was a 13-year-old boy shot Sunday in the South Shore neighborhood. He was shot while standing on a sidewalk with a group of people in the 7800 block of South Essex Avenue around 1.45 a.m., police said. He was hospitalized in fair condition with a gunshot wound to his buttocks at Comer Children's Hospital. Last weekend, six people were killed and 18 others were wounded by gunfire in the city. Lightfoot bans unaccompanied minors from Millennium Park on weekend evenings after fatal shooting near the Bean. 
Veteran Chicago cop jumps into mayor's race. Police release photos of hit and run driver who seriously hurt bicyclist in Jefferson Park. 17s shot, two fatally, since Friday evening in Chicago. 16 year old boy among two wounded in Lawndale shooting. Two wounded in shooting hours after teen was shot and killed near the Bean in Loop. Chicago weekend violence, 5 dead, 26 wounded since Friday evening. The youngest homicide victim was a 16-year-old boy shot Saturday near the Bean in the Loop. The youngest homicide victim was a 16-year-old boy shot Saturday evening near the Bean statue in the Loop leading Mayor Lori Lightfoot to impose a curfew for unaccompanied minors on weekends at Millennium Park, declaring the city cannot allow any of our public spaces to become platforms for danger, Lightfoot said unaccompanied minors 